Hi, this is Larry up in Brandon, Minnesota. Hey, I'm going to show you how to make an instant garden portable in just minutes. I had a friend of mine this year, never gardened before in her life, and look at these tomatoes. See them? They are fantastic. Well, she is really tickled now. And I said, here's what you got to do, hon. I, I mean, if you don't have time and you want to do something real quick, well, I'm going to show you what to do. You have no excuse not to have a garden. You go over to Walmart and you get yourself a couple of these grow bags. They're by the checkout. They're 50 cents a piece. They're made out of recycled polypropylene plastic. And believe me, I have tried every grow bag there is on the sun. I'm not promoting a Walmart. I'm just saying these hold up better than any of them. I got some that are two, two years old. Uh, they're as good as the day I got them. For 50 cents, that's cheap. But what happens with the air pruning, and if you don't know what air pruning is, Google it and you'll find out. Air pruning is where the roots hit the air, or go to the sides, and they don't circle and you don't get root bound. And what happens is they make microscopic roots all over and you get phenomenal growth. Well, I'm going to show you how to make it where you can just water this portable, you can stick it in a small little container, or you can put it in like the kiddie pool style, which I've had other videos and I'll put links underneath below. We're going to start with this tomato plant. We're going to start with this Walmart bag, this uh, little Walmart 50 cent shop bag. And I've just got some Majestic Earth Professional Potting Mix. You can use any kind, make your own, get an organic kind, it doesn't matter. What I'm going to do, and I've got a bucket, it's got some potting mix in right here. We're going to fill this up about two thirds of the way. And then I'm going to show you what to do next. I'll be back. Okay, another thing, to make this a little easier to work with and fill up, Fold the top of your bag over like this. Makes it easy to fill and the straps get out of your way. Makes it all. Now what you want to do is get yourself some garden lime. Good powdered works best. You can get powdered, but powdered's gonna break down faster. Take it, we want to dump that a cup of this in. Okay, and then I got some Epsom salt, which is magnesium. It's awesome. And I'll throw a little handful like that in there, okay? I'm gonna mix this in the top third of this and I'll add just a little bit more when we're done but I want to get this mixed in okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna plant our tomato plant there this is so we don't get blossom end rot because of a calcium or magnesium deficiency we want to make sure we put that right in here okay so we're gonna mix this in mix it good now I'm gonna make a hole I'm gonna plant my tomato plant in there deep as deep as I can okay and I'll be back Okay, now we got our tomato plant planted in there. I am going to water the heck out of it. Got our lime mixed in there, our garden lime and our Epsom salt. And we are going to water, plant your tomato plant as deep as possible, okay? If you have some bottom branches that are sticking, go ahead and trim them off. That's, that's going to help. It ain't going to hurt nothing. And we are going to water the living dickens out of this. I'm going to water this, and after it's settled a little bit, okay? Then I'll be back and show you the final step we're going to do on this. Okay, we're back. I have a cup of 1010 fertilizer. Now, you want to stay com completely organic, no problem. Use an organic potting mix and as a supplement, get some uh, organic fertilizer. I'm going to use 101010. I'm going to put it around the very outside edge here. because We don't want it to burn the roots or anything. We're going to put it all the way around the very outside edge. And then what I'm going to do, try to keep me, I'm going to just cover it with some more potting mix. We're not going to water this in now. Just the water. See, there's a low leaf. Branch, we'll get rid of that. Don't need that there. We're going to put this pot, potting mix and we're going to cover that. And as it rains, and we're going to mulch this top too. Going to mulch, mulch this. So we don't get splashed back and that helps and holds in moisture. What we're going to do, we're going to put that, and that is slowly going to release into this, okay? We're not going to water this because as the moisture, as the bag gets moist and as it slowly gets watered, you're going to water this. But we want to put it on the very outside edge so it doesn't, that doesn't happen. Now that we've done that, and we got this here, I'm going to mulch this, get some wood mulch or straw, or grass clippings, or any, you can mulch the top with any, uh, I like wood chips, really work good, and you can get them dirt cheap. I'm going to get some wood chips and mulch the top and I'll be back. 
Okay, not only did we mulch the top with a couple, two, three inches of wood chips here, I got. I also, you took a, go down and get a dollar nineteen tomato cage and put it right on the top of here. Now you're ready to go. I don't care if you got a little patio out back, if you're a rent, you don't have to worry. Man, like you said, like I said, look at these pictures. This is exactly what I showed her to do. Now, water it every couple days. Try to water at the base of the plant. Stay away from the outside where that fertilizer is. And just water, just trickle water in, in the bottom. And this thing will grow phenomenal, okay? If you want to make it a self-watering plant, then do this. You take a little tub or a little can. Here's a little tota head. Look at this plant. Has gone totally nuts. I did the same thing to it. Planted it. I have an overflow hole up here. See that? Off a couple, two in, about two inches. Every day I fill this, any excess rainwater, it'll just run out. Also, if you want to do like my kiddie pool situation. Okay, let's look at this now. Here's where I took a bunch of those grow bags. And instead of just using the one tote, I put them in a kiddie pool. And I'll put a link below this video on my kiddie pool setup. And you can see the phenomenal results I had last year. Oh, Mr. B, I love you. So anyway, I put a overflow up about two inches on this. So if it's heavy rains or anything, excess water, uh, water runs out. You can even mount a float in if this, like I do in my rain gutter systems, if you want to make it totally automatic and hook that up either to a rain barrel or to, uh, you know, a city water or your well water. Anyway, this is a slick way to do it if you want to really put in a bunch of tomato. But I just want to show you... Uh, Simple, simple way. If you say, geez, I don't have any garden, no wagon, hey, you have no excuse. Go get a couple of tomato plants, a couple of cucumber plants, anything, and throw them in the Walmart bags and you can water them. Put them in a little tote if you want to make it automatic, self-watering. And if you want to make it automatic, put a float in. I mean, totally automatic. But uh, I just want to show you that. It's so slick. Um, like I said, my neighbor gal had phenomenal results. I mean, look at this. She is so jickled, and she's going to be eating fresh tomatoes now. And it just took her a few minutes, a couple Walmart bags, three Walmart bags, a couple bags of uh, some good potting mix. I gave her a little garden lime and stuff so she didn't have to go out and buy it, and some apples and salts, and, she, and I gave her three little packs, and she threw it in there. And she's going to be eating tomatoes here in, in no time flat. So it's a super instant, instant garden. You could call it instant raised bed, and then you can make it soft watering or whatever you want. But... Um, this is Larry up in Brainerd, Minnesota, watching Mr. B do one heck of a job. Man, I love you, B. Just do that because I want lots of these little, uh, they call this a Minnesota, I mean, uh, Mexican midget. I wish it was Minnesota midget. Mexican midget. The plant is not midget, but the tomato tomatoes are. Very small, but like little sugar bombs. They are so sweet. They make a sweet 100 taste tart. But uh, we'll, we'll leave you with this little comment looking at... Uh, Grow, baby, grow, because this little bee is doing one phenomenal job. Thank you, Mr. or Mrs. B. I don't know what you are, but you're really doing a job. And this is Larry up in Brainerd, Minnesota, saying, grow, baby, grow.